So I wanted to make this video because I haven't seen a lot of videos on this bag and I think it's a great bag. Um, it is like a higher end bag and it's, it's mostly just based off the materials and um, the materials basically because it's like um, a synthetic leather, you know? It's, uh, the build quality is a lot better. It's one of those stiff bags that hold its shape, you know? It's, it's maybe a little heavier than a normal tennis bag, but this is like, I guess you would get this if you like, you know, something that's gonna hold its shape mostly, which is like the main reason I got it. Um, I also am like a gear snob, so like, it's one of the more expensive tennis bags, so I felt like I had to get it. Um, and they come in, there's a few colors. This is the blue one, blue and white, which I think is really nice. Um, but I, I, like again, I wanted to make this video because there's not a lot of them, uh, videos online, and I was gonna kind of do a like, what's in my bag, so you can like, get a gist of, you know, the bag and, you know, what it can hold and different, you know, different ideas for it. If you were interested in getting this bag, I think it's like 275 or something, um, brand new. They, they had a sale during like Black Friday and stuff. So if you wanted to buy it on a sale, you could just wait for that and maybe it'll do it again. Or you get like 10% off your first time buyer. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll drop links in the description. Maybe I won't. I don't know. This is my first video. So it can hold six tennis rackets. Um, obviously, I don't think that's what most people are gonna use it for. So inside, uh, it's more of like a, like a two to three racket bag, I would say. So it has like a two racket spot right here on the side that has that thermal lining, um, like a lot of rackets bags do these days. And then you can put like a racket on the main compartment inside. Um, I usually have my third racket is like my most freshly strung one. I'll have it like bubble wrapped and shit because it's in like the bag with a bunch of stuff. So I don't want it to like scratch or like break the strings or whatever, but I kind of want these strings to break so I haven't been putting it in a bag. But uh, it's a pretty big compartment. I'll give you guys a POV view of it um, and then just put my voice over here. But I also like to carry, um, I have this. This is for that Swing Vision app uh, where you can record a match. This is the tripod, it extends. You know, so you can put it on the fence in the back. So I have that in there. That fits. Um, got a big 32 or 48 ounce water bottle. Um, tennis balls. Uh, there's a zipper pocket inside of here where I got socks, uh, spare, spare socks. I got a hat, one of these hats, just like if it's a sunny day and you want to, you know, you want to you wanna view a match and you uh, want to stay out the sun, I got one of these bad boys. And then uh, there's some of these shin splints. These are like the things that, compression stuff for your shins or calves or whatever. These are actually really helpful if you have shin splints. So I carry some of these. I, I go pretty hard in the tennis. I'm not very good, but I go very hard and I get shin splints. So I don't take any rest days, which is pretty bad. And then I got a couple towels in here. And these are all within this, this zipper pocket that is inside of the main bag. So I put like clothes and stuff in this one, like spare stuff that I will like, you know, if I ever need it, it's in there. So that's what's in there. And then the main thing that I have, which is, you know, pretty, pretty popular. I don't know what I'm saying. The main thing for this bag are the side pockets. So both sides, Outside the big compartments have these two smaller side compartments. So there's one here and then there's a smaller one here. So the top one is like, it has these pockets here and uh, it's kind of broken out. I should probably do a POV, but I, I hold some sunscreen in here. So I got some sunscreen. I put it in a little Ziploc bag so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't leak just in case. This is a zinc one. So it's like a good sunscreen. It's like uh, good for the coral reef stew if you're a surfer. Keep it in a bag in there. You never know when you need some sunscreen, obviously. These are some moleskin patches that I cut out. Um, so this is for like blisters and stuff. If you ever have anything pretty bad on your feet, you can use some of this. Keep them in a Ziploc bag. Uh, I got a spare iPhone brick and charging cable. And I, I, I rarely use this, but it's one of those just in case kind of things. And I just have that in here. I have some aerosol deodorant, which is good, you know, when you go in hard and you don't have time to uh, shower and you just need a quick spray, 
Uh, I don't use it very often because I just go home after tennis usually, but it's in there just and most. A lot of stuff is just in case, you know. Um, hand sanitizer. These are electrolyte packets, so I put these in water. You know, if I want, like it's like Gatorade basically. These are Propel. They're pretty cheap, mainly for taste actually. Ibuprofen with you. Um, ibuprofen basically turns off any arm pain. So if you have like tennis elbow, which I don't. But you know, sometimes I work pretty hard and then my arm gets sore. So I just use some of this. Very, not, you don't, you shouldn't be taking ibuprofen very often. Um, but you know, when you need it, it's good to have. Uh, and then I have some extra string in here just in case. Pocket, and then the last pocket here we got, this is a, another thermal lined pocket. So I keep like snacks in here. So this right now I just have some protein protein bars, and then I think I put my chapstick in here, so I don't want my chapstick to melt, so I got a, yeah, I got a chapstick, just in case. It's a, it's a SPF chapstick. So, that's the main stuff I have in my bag. Also, probably really important to a lot of you, worth mentioning, there is a top compartment here, vented, and this is the shoe compartment. So I got my shoes in here, and it, it's a really big compartment, I'm size 10, so, and there's plenty of space, so I feel like if you're size 13 or 14 it'll work too, but you got your shoes, they just go right in there, pretty easy. And then I'll swap out, I have uh, some slides that I wear after my workout, I'll either wear them before and walk out with them. But there it is, that's the bag. Um, it's really good quality. Let me show you what it looks like when it's on me. It's very well fitted, it got good straps, comfortable. You can pack it up pretty heavy and it's not bad. Uh, uh. Look at that shit. I'm not gonna have that in the video, but bag is pretty, pretty good. Pretty good bag. But yeah, you guys should, uh, you know, if you're if you're like me and you just like to spend money and have quote unquote the best, this is a really good quality bag. I haven't had any issues with it. I've had it for like seven months now. There's nothing breaking, no problems, and I use it every single day. So it's a great bag. Really, really good, really happy with it. I've actually, I fly with Southwest a lot, and I've just carried this on. Uh, I've carried this on the flight, so I just put it on, went through security, and just threw it on the, uh, threw it in the upper compartments, the bins, and no one's ever said anything. I've gone on like 10 flights with it. So it is, I guess, airport friendly. Uh, I don't know what the other airlines are like. I only use Southwest, so. Yeah, but that's worth mentioning. You can bring it on a plane um, as your carry-on bag, which is good. Um, I love tennis, so I might make more videos about other stuff. I like basically, I basically only only play tennis. I don't I don't have anything else going on in my life. I mean, I have a job, but no one wants to hear about that. So it's a cool bag. I got a little keychain on it here too. Anyway, let me do the POV shit now. Oh, 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 oh,